Hey kids team, welcome to your weekend update for the weekend of April 22nd and 23rd. As you guys know, we came out of Easter last weekend and looking into this weekend, we are starting a new series, the series of Heroic, where we are going to look at life's villains and, um, and what that looks like. Um, in like a superhero heroic kind of uh, framework. Um, so for the first time ever, we are introducing what a series is to the kids. There's going to be um, some stage props this weekend and um, we're really going to just drive home. Hey guys, this is what a series is and it's going to look cool and it's going to look different and we are really excited uh, because I know a lot of kids love the superheroes. So um, it's going to be really exciting over the next couple of weeks. Um, this weekend's bright idea is God loves good choices. Um, the story that we're going to be looking over um, is the fruit of the Spirit. So we're going to be looking over Galatians 5. If you want to read over that, become um, acquainted with what they all are. Um, our memory verse is about it. Uh, we're talking about, you know, love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, self-control, gentleness. Um, we're going to be talking about those and what they mean for the kids. Um, and even in the walkers room, I got a brand new book that goes over them for their little age group. They can touch the fruit and it's just another way that we're going to be able to um, explain important things, um, you know, from God to these kiddos. So I'm pumped about this new series. Um, the memory verse Feel free to go over this a couple of times. There's quite a few motions, so uh, feel free to practice this a couple times. Really be ready for it this weekend. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, uh, <laughs> kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Uh, go over those motions a little bit, um, a couple times. As you know, as you saw, I had a I had a moment where I couldn't remember what the next one was. Um, so, and it is the same for preschool and elementary. We are teaching the same verse to all of them. So, go over those motions a couple times. Uh, this weekend in elementary and preschool, we're playing the same groups. We are playing Guess the Superhero. So, we're gonna give you um, a lit. I think there's ten, ten superheroes, and what we're doing is we're describing them. The descriptions are already on the paper, and the kids have one minute to see. How how many superheroes they can guess. Um, in elementary, the, the song that we're singing is God Made a... Made a sorry about that. <laughs> God Made a Way. And in preschool, we're singing My God is So Great. Um, starting this weekend, we have The Drive coming up. This is where we invite the kids to bring in clothing and food together. And we are going to donate the, um, the food and clothing to... Um, I think the, oh my gosh, I'll have specifics about that this weekend, but we're donating it um, to help our communities. So something that's a little different this time, we're not having a boy-girl competition. We are, um, we're seeing how much together as one team we can bring in. So that's going to be a little different. We're going to have um, the drop-off locations in the lobby. And so um, that is coming up, um, you know, this weekend through the next couple of weekends. So that's so exciting. I don't know about you all, but I'm really excited to get the clothes that I've been seeing for the drive out of my house. I'm so pumped about it. Um, the prayer that I would love for you guys to join me um, in is... You know, just having um, this fiery passion for new families. We had 16 new families through Easter. Like, woohoo! That's a lot. And um, so my prayer, and I would love it if you would join me, is that everyone on our team, um, including myself, who I'm the front runner that needs it the most, um, that we would have this like fiery passion for those new families, getting to know them, getting them connected, and then um, you know having that same fiery passion for the unchurched people that are coming because that is our mission, that is our focus, to help the spiritually restless and the unchurched love, serve, and tell. So uh, my prayer is just that I would be ignited with this passion, with this fire again, and I would love it if you guys would join me in that prayer for yourselves and for our team. 
Um, so a win for this weekend um, that I really want us to focus on is having meaningful conversations during the groups. Uh, whether you're in preschool or with elementary, we have spaces uh, that we get to speak into these kids' lives. So uh, the win for this weekend is having those meaningful conversations, um, allowing the conversation to go uh, at where it needs to go as long as it's like healthy and good. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get to all the questions, but let's have some really deep, meaty conversations with these kids this weekend. And then I want to leave you with some encouragement. Oh, guys, as we are we are talking about Easter as a staff and we're just kind of wrapping our brain around it, there were 247 hands raised for Jesus. That's a lot. That is a ton. And I'm so excited. That is just over the Easter services. 247. That is a yay God. I don't know about you guys, but that makes me want to just like do a dance. Um, another encouragement is we, um, last year in 2016 at Easter services, we had 381 children. That's incredible. This year, 2017, we had 431. Woohoo! Guys, we served 431 individuals. You guys are amazing. And you know what is the coolest part about that? It felt like a normal weekend, which is so cool. We had 431 people and we were not stressed. It was not chaotic. It felt like a normal weekend. So let me give you some encouragement. As we're looking like, I don't know, five, six years down the road, we have the team and we're building the team to be able to have that number of children on a regular basis. How stinking cool is that? Finley is one of the biggest on um, the family communities, and we have, uh, we're like the second or third, we're right up there in the top uh, for children per adults that we have. So guys, way to go. I am honored to work with you guys. You are so talented, so passionate, and I am so thankful that I get to be inspired by you, that I get to learn from you, and that I get to serve elbow to elbow with you. Guys, way to go, and I can't wait to see y'all this weekend. Have a good one.